This is not the video I had thought of doing today. Hi there. I know it's a funny statement to start a video off with, but the fact is that this was just going to be a video about uh, personal style and how sometimes, you know, it's a term that may be a little overused and not terribly accurate. But then, after looking at uh, the work of a, a couple of well-known photographers, and then looking back at some of the portraits that I've done in recent uh, years, days, and looking at what can be done with those in terms of post-processing to just simply bring out something more from the image, I realized that more than anything else, a good portrait photographer has to see the person. Now, I don't mean that, you know, lump of protoplasm that was sitting in front of them at the time. I'm talking about something beyond that. Something about the person's personality. Something about who they are, other than just a physical representation of what they look like. Uh, all too often, we have the standard idea of, well, like the school pictures where, you know, the kid comes up, he gives a fake smile, there's a click, there's a flash, he moves on. Next. That sort of thing is a record, a running record of your child's life. Fair enough. The photographers that do it work very, very, very hard, usually not for very good pay, and often produce very good results. However, they don't have the time to invest into a single portrait. That's where those of us with that luxury need to really be aware of it. Nowadays there are so many people taking selfies, some of which are quite expressive, but many are just the usual stare at the phone and smile. So there's a lot of staring at phones and smiling. Uh, I, I think we need to try and get more out of our portraits than that. We need to get something of the individual. Now I know what I'm saying is nothing new. I know that this idea has existed from the beginning of man creating an image. Uh, when we look at paintings like the Mona Lisa, we scratch our heads and wonder, what is she thinking because of that, that look that she has? And again, those looks captured by painters and now captured by photographers and painters and anyone else in the visual arts. That look is very important. It conveys far more than just what the person looks like. So this is a short video. Um, you will notice that uh, my some of my portraits have been splashed along this. Many of them are fairly new. Some of them are older but have been reprocessed, uh, giving a little more thought to the post-processing and basically following the simple rule of uh, the, the main reason for the post-processing is that many of these were candid shots. Many of them were shots where I did not take the time uh, that I should have taken to make sure backgrounds are clear, or I did not have that luxury of time. So I hope you enjoy the images. I hope you give some serious thought to why you're shooting portraits. If it is only a running record, if it is nothing more than a record of what people look like, so be it. However, if you are trying to do something a little more expressive, if you are trying to get across something a little more substantial, then please take the time to make sure that you know who it is you're photographing, you know enough about them to know what it is they need to convey in that portrait. And when you've handled that well, then you will have a good portrait. If you handled it badly, Let's just hope that it's sharp and they have a nice smile. Well, if you like this video, please give me a like. If uh, you want to see more of my videos, you know how to subscribe to this channel. And uh, if you know someone who may get something useful from this particular video, by all means, share it. And well, bye for now.